welcome to paradise welcome to paradise People ask us all the time and they're like, what motivates you the most? Your positive stubbornness and you continue to succeed. What made you quit job and little kid and do the ask it? What motivates you to continue working with the marginalized communities? Why did you choose permaculture? This is part two of our story. I personally grew up in severe poverty that my parents failed to continue supporting my education. So painful. So painful. My wife ended up in an orphanage because her parents could not pay for school fees and they could not manage to raise her up. We grew up full of questions. What must have we done to deserve such difficulties, a difficult life? Why us? Why? We to retire at a very young age, so we could follow our dream, so we could chase our passion, so we could live our life, and we live our life. And this is our paradise. This is where we live. This is paradise on the planet Earth. In the same country where people are suffering in the same country. Where life is too hard. In the same country, people believe there's nothing else they can do. In the same country, people think they can't do agriculture without chemicals and fertilizer. We grow over 300 different types of foods of which 90% we never planted. We've got 16 acre pieces of land with 11,800 trees of which 90% we never planted. We've got edible caterpillars, we've got staples and herbs, we've got vegetables, we've got fats and oils, we've got legumes, we've got animals, we've got plenty of food. This is paradise we created. We live in paradise. This is our paradise. This is our paradise. We are a great example of young Malawians who can't get out of their comfort zones. They are sacrificing their dreams with a little something that get every month in. They work 31 days and they get paid once. We work every day, we get paid every day because we live in paradise. We wanted to be models to young graduates who are graduating from different universities but they can't find a job and they're like, we can't find a job. Like, why, why, why did you go to university? You know? So we demonstrate possibilities of Malawi. That Malawi is not poor. Look at our paradise. Look at our fruits. Look at our fruit forest. Look at general food. Look, look at everything. You know? We've got clean air. We've got medicine. We've got food. We've got peace. We've got building supplies. We've got firewood. We've got other things that human beings would need quality good life. We don't need politicians, we don't need religious leaders, we don't need, what we need is life. The life that God gave us. And this is exactly what we capitalized on. We capitalized on the life that God gave us. And the resources they are in, we capitalized on that. You can capitalize on those resources and like, what's your passion? 
we live in paradise, you know. So this is a paradise where a lot of people come. This is a paradise where a lot of people come to learn. This is a paradise where a lot of people come for a great transformation. You can also be part of that transformation. We invite you to paradise. So you can experience a lifetime, lifetime change and transformation. Welcome to paradise. A 
Akula Bajima, so colo la que mano. Soga, soga, soga. Akula Bajima, so colo la que mano. Soga, soga, soga. Akula Bajima. So go lo la que ma o no Madula, Songa, Songa.